this time I'm going to explain how I do um, um, weapons of obsidiana, like the one that you can see here. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see this. So you can see the knife that he's using to cut himself, okay, like a ritual. So we're going to do uh, obsidiana weapons on this beastman. So to do that, I will start with Abaddon Black, and we are going to apply this um, on, on the weapon where we want to have this look of obsidian. Okay. In that case, it's going to be the spear. And we do like that. And when it's done, I we will wait that this dries before doing the next step. Okay, so it's done, and now I wait that this dries. Okay, once the black have dry, I'm going to use a very light gray, administrative gray in my case, but any light gray will do the work. Okay, and we are going to do. We are going to, to paint with a very thin brush. I'm going to do this. Okay. Now we will do the edge. And we are going to do these lines. That are like the cutting lines, okay? And I'm going to do the other side. Once we have done that, we will need to wait the deep dries. And you can see it's at the beginning it looks very stark, very, very strong the change. Don't worry too much, we are going to smooth all this later on. that is dry because I want to uh, be sure that it's completely dry and I'm back for the next step. Okay, now that the grey has dry, I'm going to use a gloss dune oil and apply it over the part where I want to apply the okay. 
this will make create some glare. You can be generous with that and I want to really do a little bit of make darker the gray. Okay, now I wait at this device and I come back to show you the final result. Okay, so this is the end result. So you can see how it looks like. Okay, and I like that it's also uh, have a little bit of shiny. Okay, so this is how I do the obsidian weapons. Okay, so that's all for this video. Please let me know what do you think. If I like, if you have liked it, share. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching. See you later.